Love the vibe here at night. It's a very quiet place. There's also family villas here. So if you're a family and you're coming, you can rent the whole villa. And we're gonna show you the resto bar in the back. Cozy. We are now walking to Happiness Hostel. There is a happiness hotel, which where we're staying it has private rooms, but the barbecue night, the chill and barbecue night is at the hostel. Just right across from Happiness Hotel. So we're gonna cross the road. Yeah. Don't you just love the island vibe in Shargao? I know. Actually, it's getting busier now. It's getting busier than when you first brought me across here. The street Here's now. the barbecue. Yeah. Wow, live band. Oh. Oh. my rice in the morning. Good thing they have it in goodies. Yeah. So goodies is one of the few places here in Chicago that opens at 7 a.m. So you can get an early breakfast prior to surfing or prior to your adventures. So that's what we're doing today. Getting a little breakfast in. I need some more sunscreen today. <laughs> but we're excited for another day of adventure. Good morning. Before we head out for our adventure today, I want to show you what our room looks like here in Happiness Chicago Resort. So there are two accommodations here in Happiness Chicago. One is the resort, which we are staying at. And there's another one, which is a hostel. Perfect for solo travelers, backpackers, people are on a budget. This is our villa. It has a kitchen. It actually is fully equipped because it has a refrigerator, a gas stove, even has a microwave, rice cooker, pots and pans, plates, the whole shebang, and even our own water dispenser. Martin's just chilling by the hammock. We have a table for two. And this is our room. So it's pretty simple and it's by the beach. We have our own TV as well. I'm not so sure if it's a smart TV. I haven't tried it yet though. So sorry about the mess. These are all of our stuff. What I like about this room is that it has a lot of electric sockets so we can charge our gadgets anywhere. Couch here and there's this closet and bathroom. A very simple bathroom with shampoo and a bath gel. However, there's no toiletries here, but they do provide a beach towel and a towel. But I think you can request for toiletries. I'm not so sure about that, but we just always bring our own. We've been traveling so much that we carry our own toiletries at all times. So yeah, okay. Let's go for an adventure. Shargo. Let's get it. Baba mama, you ready for me, Baba mama? Actually, actually, this is wrong. Are you ready for me, baby mama? Today, I will take you to paradise. So our room is actually right in front of the room. And this is the restaurant and bar. It's actually pretty nice to hear the waves, the sound of the waves in the morning. However, if you're not much into partying, there are some parties going on here at night. So if you are noise sensitive. It's a mixing. Yeah. It's a mixing. <laughs> These are family villas. So mm -hmm. you can bring your kids and stay here a little mm -hmm. bit away from the party also. Yeah, and there are more rooms like we here. Are. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So there's some rooms here at the quiet area. <laughs> you want yourself. more quiet? Yeah, oh. quiet area. Mm -mm. So if you're gonna book this and you're bringing kids or you just want to be a little bit sure to book here. That's, that's We stayed here the first three nights. In my opinion, it was a lot more like calm and relaxing. I just love the path here. And the green is so lush. I love that. that what they did in the landscape. It's blue! Hi, blue! <laughs> I used a different scooter that we rented from Happiness 
Shargao to explore General Luna. Wow, thank you. But it has dairy, uh, so I'm getting the vegan coconut milkshake. Okay, two of those then. Dalawa pala no. Okay. She said she watches the vlog. Oh yeah. Uh -uh. Ooh. Ano pangalan mo? I'm sorry. Ano pangalan? Uh, What's your name? Sarah. <laughs> Okay, we've arrived here in Tropical Academy by Local in San Isidro and today we're gonna try and see if we can make something like this or at <laughs> least learn how to weave. Yeah. So this is a very uh, local like, Filipino thing to have a, ba uh, a banig. We call it banig or weave. It's a tampipi, it's a box. Very impressive. Yeah, so we will try to do that. Or uh, a mat, a floor mat. This is what a banig is. Filipino carpet. Yeah. We, so, we have that at home. Yeah, actually we do. So when I was a kid, this is where I always sleep because our family doesn't have a mattress. My parents cannot afford a mattress. And I think I, we've, uh, we've had it since I'm like six years old. So I'm very used to sleeping with just this and the floor, no mattress. <laughs> They're also preparing us some lunch. It looks like this is talong with coconut milk. Big plant with coconut milk. Yeah. Check that talong. out. Wow. Then later, we're gonna do some farming. Look at farmer mama. I'm a cool farmer mom. I'm just a regular <laughs> farmer mom. Oh, it's so nice here. I love the breeze, wind, and just the energy here. So I'm very excited actually to do some farming and know where they get the food that we're going to eat for lunch today. And this is banana heart sisig. So this is Ooh. all sisig. Uh, from here, from yeah. everything on, is from the farm. farm. Yeah. Wow. Like 100% sustainable. Yeah. Belle. <laughs> <laughs> lunch right. Wow. So impressive what they've made. Yeah. Look at these. All sustainable. Wow. It's, it's, it says calamansi and blood turning flower. Cheers. Cheers. So good. Cheers. Ate, ano nakalagay dito sa loob? Ah, ano lang, squash and kamote. Ay, sarap! Nowhere to find you, but I'm going to for a new era. Far away from a GL restaurant. Oh, we're gonna learn how to weave. Ito is baliw. Baliw. Baliw dito sa amin. Talaga! So she said here it's called Baleo, which translates to crazy <laughs> in English. <laughs> yeah, but it's a Bisaya, di ba? Bisaya. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Bisaya. It's baleo. called Baleo, but it's like a pandan leaf. Mm -hmm. Tapos, ang pag-process nito, natanggalin natin to siya. Okay. Yung tinik. 
they remove the thorns. Ah, oh, shit. Just like that. Tapos to sa gitna. Ah, mayroon pa sa gitna. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the Tapos, mo sa araw. Okay, for Isang how many araw. days? One Isang day. Araw Only one, one day. day. And then it turns na ganito oh, agad. Oh, oh. Ah, para mag hmm, ano, para, diretso. Oh, oh. Tapos, pag anong gawat na nyo ng size para magkapareho yung size niya. Oh, so oh. that's how they make the size. Yeah. This tool. Can I, ano, so see? Smart. This tool for the size. So nice. <laughs> no measuring tape, no? Yeah. <laughs> Galing. Super easy. Mm -hmm. uh, palatandaan. Mm -hmm. Wait, so who taught you this? Sino nagturo sa'yo nito po, ate? Inanay ko. Mami, ma. <laughs> And how long ka na gumagawa nito? 2017. Yun ako okay, nagumpisa. So You started 2017, mm. taught by your mom. Mm -mm. Ah, okay. Kasi dati hindi talaga ako tumarunong. <laughs> ah. <laughs> It's a lot harder work than what I thought. Um, Luckily, the Atas are here. Them. Ladies are here to help us. Otherwise, I could never have figured it out. Oh my God. Fried banana. 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 Woo. Woo. Yummy. So this is star apple jam. Apple, can I drink yeah. water from here? They're selling it for 200 pesos, four bucks. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. 200 for one jar? Mm. Shut up. But it's one of those things that you buy and then maybe you never finish it. Unless you do this. Yeah. So nice. You remember the time when we go to these um, farms? Yeah. And we pick our own food? Yeah. Veggies, I mean. Gargao still has that vibe yeah, to it. Yeah, that's what I love about That ability to live a life off the grid. So you got some lettuce. This one looks basil. And then they have meat. It's such a nice light right now. Yeah, so this looks like Thai basil, no? Mm. Straight from the source. This is the life Pesto she actually pasta. wants to have. This farm is regenerative farming, as you can see. All of these plants is we are using also for our fertilizers. So like for example of this, so this is Madre de Cacao. Yeah, and then ah, madre de cacao. Mm -hmm. So, um, madre de cacao, we're, we're using it for our fertilizer also. Yeah. So we chop it into small pieces, and then we squeeze it with the water, and then molasses. Then after eight hours, we ferment it and we spray it to our um, tomato, eggplants, mm. just like that. Every oh. fruiting plants. Ah. Yeah, because the purpose of this is for you know the flowering for yeah. fruiting. So this is the mother natural. Uh, no. Yeah, you can fertilizer. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. A full tour of the entire garden that they have here. All the stuff they're growing. Such an amazing place. Okay, so this is a flower called Roselle, and Ati said that you can eat um, this leaf. A family of okra. And oh, gumamel. Yeah. It's a bit sour. She said yeah. it's nice okay. for uh, tea. So the purpose of you want to taste? Mm hmm. Mm. This is a, such a nice light. No? Wing warrior food grows is a luxury or even growing your own food it's for free mother nature gives it for free one day one day so this is pipinito a native cucumber so small it's like a bean okay pipinito different taste from ripe and yeah mini cucumber Mm. Yeah, so. good. Okay, guys, we are now visiting Tropical Academy. in 
Bye bye. The thing about a road trip to the north is that it's so easy to run out of time. <laughs> like you're stopping along the way and all of a sudden you never made it all the way north. This happened to us today. So I guess that's the tip I have for you. If you're planning a trip, start early because there's just so many beautiful spots to see along the way. Especially the beaches in the north. It's... Ah. Good morning, Ate. Thank you so much. Why? Okay, today we are going to Northern Chargao again because that's our favorite spot in the island. And I also think it's the more relaxed place, especially for a pregnant woman. We were supposed to do island hopping today, but since it is a Mihan season, by the way, you have to check which season you're going to Chargao or the Philippines. If it's a Mihan season, the waves tend to be big and rough. Yeah. So we don't want that. We just want a relaxed day. So we're like, you know what? I think Northern Chargao is a great idea. We got our beach towels, we got our snacks. We're all set up, geared up. Babies on board. Yeah, and <laughs> who says pregnant women shouldn't wear crop top? Right? Who makes the rules? I think you're rocking it, girl. Thank you. Okay. I'm proud of the buff. Road trip in Chargao. You can rent a car like this between 2,000 and 3,500 pesos. Seats four. You can drive around the island yourself if that's something you're interested in. Talk to the guys at Happiness. They might be able to arrange that for you. We're really excited. You ready, Ava? Yes, we're ready. <laughs> Unreal weather we've had here in Chargao the last couple of days. And just like you mentioned earlier, it's very important that when you come to Chargao that you check the which season you're coming in, just so you can kind of expect <laughs> based on the weather, based on that, because there are rainy seasons, dry seasons, uh, hotter ir hotter periods, colder periods. So depending on what you prefer, but Chargao is always a good time. On a day like this, when the weather is beautiful, you see this crystal clear blue water. This place surpasses Bali by ten folds. <laughs> oh, look how blue the water is. Hi, we just passed by Pacifico. It's pretty windy, so I don't know if you can hear me that clear. But we had to just stop at this spot. We always chill here, but I actually don't know the name of the area. So it's after Pacifico and before Burgos, we'll see this spot. I don't know until when this is going to be open. Maybe someone had already bought it and there will be a resort here, standing here one day. Who knows? So, but as of now, we're taking advantage of this beautiful, beautiful scenery. <laughs> Little Hawaii having breakfast mm. uh, to go from Goody's mm -hmm. Shargao. Check it out. Filipino longinesa. It's actually a sausage in here. Yeah. Rice, egg, power. Power in the morning. And this is our view. We are in Little Hawaii, as I mentioned. This is actually where we spent most of our time when we lived here in Northern Shargao in 2020 because this spot has the best Wi-Fi signal. I mean, for your phone data, cellular signal. This is where we upload our vlogs. Oh, I think we uploaded maybe 40 vlogs in this spot. Like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just very nostalgic. Oh, yeah. be. oh, this is where you celebrated your 100,000 subscribers. Subscribers Actually, too. yeah, <laughs> right here. So yeah, it's just nice to reminisce and Remember. see that it's still the same. Yeah. Except for the concrete road, it's <laughs> wider now and yeah, good times. Good times. Beautiful photos mm -hmm. we're taking here. Unreal. Yeah. If you don't know, we actually lived in Chargao for eight, nine months. In 2020, we do have a lot of videos, mostly in the northern parts of Chargao, but also like some secret spots. Yeah. With the a lot of island hoppings so if you want to check that out we do have a playlist right here back like we 
never left. Wow, we used to come here every day when we were living on the island. Oh yeah, Starlink too. Even better Wi-Fi. <laughs> We used to come here a lot to work. <gasps> Who is that? Bella. He doesn't recognize you. Hello. 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 Gosh, it's so nice to be back here after what two years. I know. <laughs> we spent so much time editing, working here in the Rosa, and now they have better Wi Fi. Yeah. Mm -mm. And what are you having? What's this? Yeah. Did you already film this? Okay, no, I just ate it right now. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Your Valentine's Day. Mm. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm. Please try the mango shake when you come to the Philippines. Oh yeah. Mm. We used to play a lot. I can't play with you now. I'm sorry, but we can walk later. We can walk later. <laughs> Yo, and then you're getting a little older, but you still look good. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out someone stole my shades. I got a party. I got a party. <laughs> I'm a Bahamas of the Philippines. <laughs> yeah, better. Better. How does the baby think about this? Yeah. Happy? Very happy. I'm happy also. Yeah, me too. So nice to be back here. Right? I remember how much joy this place brings us. smiling the entire time mm. <laughs> I feel very much at home here I don't know why and the baby's loving it huh? baby loving it <laughs> baby loving it So it started raining, I think for 10 minutes, and then it stopped. We went swimming, it was really nice, and now it's sunny again. That's how it is, island life. The rain comes and it goes. I think my favorite season is, or month to travel around the Philippines is definitely end of January, February. Because it's like the most calm month where there's not a lot of tourists. And also the weather is for me perfect. What's going on there, mister? <laughs> <laughs> not as much, not as much uh, grass on top there anymore. <laughs> gotta protect the scalp. One day we will be neighbors. <laughs> oh, coconut. Upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> no beachfront. Yeah. Now they're serving pizza. Also a very nice place yeah. to come and chill out when you're in the north. Also have like actual coffee machine here. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Here are some of the menu items. And here is the location. Super chill. This is pretty much as far north as you can get on the island now. Mm -hmm. There's also a nature park here that you can explore. Yeah, there's no like shacks there. Uh-huh. Like nice. And actually here is a very nice surf break. So it's possible to surf. There's also surf shops renting out boards for those who want to do that. Look at this beach though, Ava, huh? Don't you just want to spend the time here? <laughs> I actually miss it. Shall we walk? Yeah, let's go out. Let's check it out. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Raised our shadows among the pines. 
Chargao is still so untouched. That's the beauty of this place, is that you can rent a scooter, go up north, or rent a car like we did, and find yourself just all by yourself almost. Empty beaches, look at this woman just enjoying that. That is the beauty of Chargao, that you have the GL party place, where everything is happening, where you can meet other like-minded individuals. You can also escape all of that and head up north about one to two hour drive and just, you know, find your own energy, your own peace. Barefoot. These are the local surfer guys. You gotta hook up with them when you're up here. But if you want to do something, so tell me. Yeah, exactly. So these guys have a shop right in front called Migos Sun Sunset or Migos Surf Shop. You can rent and they'll go out with you and show you where to surf, which is really, really nice because you know there are some reefs here, obviously. One big smile across my face. I really love the vibe of this place. It's still the same. It is? Yeah, Martin surfs a lot here. Before, morning, yeah. yeah. In my younger years, you know. <laughs> I can't believe that was four years ago. Four years ago. Yeah. Oh, babe, you're starting to become a lobster. I know, that's what I'm like, I'm trying to cover up. <laughs> that's the thing. Oh, the palm trees. Good. 